So the first one is simply the relax tool. Now you can get to this via the modeling menu system, but it's far easier just to bring up the sculpt polygon tool. So that's in mesh, I believe, sculpt geometry tool, and then the option box. Now I've got a shortcut, so those are using my shortcuts. Control Alt P will get you straight to that modeling toolkit. Sorry, sculpt geometry tool. That's what we're after. Now B is how big your brush is. I believe it's M is how powerful and strong it is. So hold that down. B is a good one to know. If you hold shift on any of these tools, it will activate the smooth tool, kind of like my box, if, if you use my box. Um, so we can go to that smooth tool and see how that works. And it will actually smooth out a lot of these vertices quite nicely for us, uh, like that. Now that's quite okay, but uh, unfortunately what it does tend to do is it sucks into the mesh. So we can see this if I keep sort of scrubbing on this area here, it looks kind of fine and it's all getting a bit nicer. But if we come to the side view, it's really flat. So it's really trying to bring the vertices really close together. Um, that's the downside of the smooth tool. Uh, so we could come in here again and maybe just select one of these edges. Now I can use what's called the uh, the soft selection in Maya and that's just by holding the B key down, down and dragging that out. Now if it's all yellow it just means your brush is too big so just make it smaller uh, to get it much smaller. So we get, get to about a level where it's affecting a few of these vertices and we can sort of now use that on a bit more of a general kind of a, an axis. Now it's not perfect as you can see but it's doing an okay job of getting us quickly to the place rather than tweaking each individual vertice. Now, getting back to our sculpt geometry tool, there's also this one, this relax. So this relax is quite good because it actually tries to maintain volume. So rather than the smooth tool, we'll come in and very quickly smooth that back uh, and losing the volumes. The relax tool will at least try uh, to maintain the volume so you can see that it's not sucking in so much it's actually trying to be a bit smart about that and it's not perfect but it does a much better job of the relax tool of the smooth tool so that's relax this is the relax mode rather than the smooth mode that's the difference between those two so this is pretty good you can go through this object and and get it to a pretty good state pretty fast um, now not going to be perfect again but we're in the ballpark so at least you could come through this this sort of a method get it pretty good and then you're in a much better chance in a much better place to tweak your vertices individually one by one uh, when we want to do that so there's one other way that we can do this and that is to well there's actually a couple other ways one other way is we can send this whole object to Mudbox and we can use the sculpting tools in Mudbox which are made for sculpting so they're a little bit easier to use than the ones in Maya. We could use masking to mask off that area um, and then uh, send it back to Maya that way. So for those use with Mudbox installed, it's not such a bad kind of a, a method. Uh, but there is one other method that's quite new to 2014, which I'll show you guys now.